Okay, welcome. We got the GPU hooked up. Got fuel. We are gonna show you guys how I go from a cold, dark airplane to getting it ready for the flight. I've already done the outside pre-flight. All right, we're gonna turn on arm our emergency lights. We go test on our standby, turn it on, and then I'll turn on the power. All right, and we've already done an emergency battery check and all that. We're gonna power it up, and then we're gonna wait for our screen to come up, make sure we got 28 volts, and we do. So we know we got a good GPU hooked up, right? And our fuel, 3920. I was trying to get it at 4,000 pounds, but right. good enough. All right, all right. We're gonna leave it on speaker because I have to have the speaker on for the test, and I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So we we go down the list. Databases are ready. I hit next. We're gonna go down and put our weights in here. This is the weight and fuel page. Hit payload. We're gonna have one passenger. We'll put in like 220, 30 pounds, well, we'll say 45 pounds of bags. Take off fuel on board. We're going to hit sink. It'll load our fuel. Uh, next, we're going from KGSO to KICT, which is Wichita, home of, you guessed it, par for the course. All right, and then here's my flight. Oh, I got toss in here. Why not I do that? That's not good. That ain't what I wanted. Anyways, all right, so let's pull up our iPad and see what we found. All right, we're going to pull up our iPad. KICT, procedure, departure. Patricia one, bulge transition, departing two three left I believe. Let's look to make sure. We'll pull up Greensboro's page. Mm, da, 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 they're doing two three, so two three left. Load. L-O-Z which is London to Tide T-I-D-E T-I-I-D two eyes. Oops. Remove T I I D E hmm, ain't heard of that one before. F A M F A M and then Redmond R E D or R E D M N. We'll go next. Departure time is going to be about 1500. We'll put UTC. Cruise 43,000 feet. I could put in my, uh, I would get this off of my flight plan. I could get this off the winds off of here. See the winds right here. Uh, where is it? Right here. The average wind's 291 at 63. So let's put that in there. We'll put in 43,000 feet. And then we're going to put in our winds right here. 291 at 63. 291 at 63. And then ISA. I'm just going to come up with an average. I'm just kind of glancing at it. Kind of eyeballing it. Maybe a plus 7. So it's warmer than standard and then we'll save and what that'll do is that that'll put in good performance numbers and it'll tell us what we're going to burn then we're going to hit next weather 
load the METOR, it puts it in there for me. Runway, 9,000 feet, takeoff configuration, all looks good. It defaults to 15 degrees, anti-ice off, takeoff factor of one, meaning we're not multiplying it by anything because the runway's wet or whatever. Rolling takeoff, runway lineup, none. Takeoff data, let's look at our barrel again for our ATIS is 2971. We're gonna put set that 29. 7 1 7 1 and then set it on this one 2 9 7 1 oops it went past it 7 1 it I have it synced to the other side except the speeds it's gonna say check flaps because I told it I wanted flaps 15 I've got flaps 15 but you can see the indicator is my flaps sag a little bit as it sits so it sat for about I don't know a week and it does sag over time so we expect that. So as soon as I crank it up, they'll come back up, and then my speeds will post. All right, we're going to go next. We're going to do our test. Fire warning test. It's going to go. Aft baggage smoke. Aft baggage aft smoke. Aft baggage smoke. Left uh, engine fire. Right, right engine, engine fire. fire. And then forward baggage. Forward baggage smoke. And then I can cancel it. All right, we're going to go to landing gear, and it's going to say landing gear. Landing gear. Landing, landing gear. gear. We're going to. We can landing silence gear. that. Landing gear. Angle of attack. It does the stick shaker. I can hit that to stop it. Windshield over temp. I touch it. We got to open our valves and we turn the bleed airs on. It's obviously not going to do anything with that. The engine's running, but this is just to do the test. I can cancel it. I turn the windshield off and then I'll close the valves. All right. And then it's going to finish its test. All right, while it's doing that, I'm going to crank in 5,000 feet, which will be my initial altitude. And we're going to hit the go around, take off go around button. All right, it's done. Over speed. It's going to beep. Over speed. That's my over speed. Anti skid. It does a test. And then we'll let it finish its test. All right, we have information, Charlie. I'm gonna write that right here, Charlie. Charlie. All right, let it finish its test. Be patient. Let it finish. All right, it's done. Enunciator test. We're checking all the lights. All the lights. Everything's good. Tall's is already tested while we're sitting here, and the TCAS is already tested. Radar altimeter. It jumps. Jumped up to 50 feet. So that's good. We'll let it finish its little self test. Oh, I should have been showing the screen when it did that. It's done. And then rudder bias check. It does a test. About rudder bias fail. I can reset that. And then it'll finish the test. We'll let it go until it finishes. While it's doing that, I'm going to bug my heading bug. Boop. All right. And then I'm going to also go over here. We're going to go ahead and turn on our air conditioner. Alright, just to kind of get a little airflow forward, we're going to put that on auto. It's done. I hit initialize, accept initialization, and then I go into flight plan. And now my flight plan's ready. I'm going to go to full scale on this. We can zoom out. And the flight plan looks good. All right, it's nice and straight. That T I I D E, I don't, I'm not familiar with that one. I've never filed that one before, but. I don't know, Four Flight suggested it, so I did. So, anyways, all right, so that's all of that. And that's really it. We'll trim, trim, trim. The rest of the stuff is after engine start. You know, I've already done a sweep of all my panels, my switches, circuit breakers, all that sort of thing. So, we're ready to go. I'm going to turn off my iPad. All right, and then I'm going to try to figure out this. I don't normally keep my backpack here I thought I'd try it uh, I'll get my camera I'm gonna mount it up there I got I got 
ice in the drawer. There's a couple of sodas in there, so we're good. Make sure our trash can's empty. Oh, our trash can's on empty. I'll grab those on the way out. And that's it for now. I probably won't record until we get out west, because we've been we've done Wichita many times. It's really not a lot of scenic value out there. It's kind of flat. But anyway, so stay tuned. We'll see you in a bit.